In this demonstration, we're going to look at the full page OCR demo, which not just demonstrates the full page OCR capabilities, but also demonstrates the database update capabilities, which you can see in this update invoices configuration, which we'll be running in a minute. When we open this, we notice it's uh, very similar to the zone OCR example, except this job is what's known as pre-indexed, and we can see that by the save and run button. Pre-indexed batch means that it's going to automatically export these images as soon as it's through recognizing and extracting the index fields. And this allows the job to run in the background as an automated process, a scheduled task, or just uh, to be run unattended by an operator. When we hit save and run, what it does is it is OCRing the entire page, getting the text of the entire document, and then searching that text for reference points like account space pound sign and order space pound sign. And it's using those as reference points to extract that information. So even if those fields were to move around the page, it would still be able to find the data. After it's done OCRing, it immediately exports to a database and to the image file names. The way this job is designed, it exports automatically so that the operator does not have to attend this process. Uh, they can just launch it and let it go or it can run in the background. And since it's an OCR process, we know that it's not going to recognize 100% of the fields correctly. So how do we run it automated but still have the ability to correct the data? And that's where the update configuration comes in. So we open update invoices from OCR. And now we see the save and run button has turned into a search button. And we hit that and it pulls back this document where we see the order number is labeled missing. Simple index has the ability to automatically insert a word like missing or any other value into any blank field during an OCR process. And that allows you to label those fields for later retrieval in an update configuration so that this value can be filled in by an operator at any time and not just when the scanning and processing is happening. So we type in the correct order number and click Save Index, and that saves the value and renames the file with the correct order number. So now it says release this batch, yes, and since it's an update mode configuration, that just clears the batch because in update mode everything is done in real time. So now that we have updated these invoices, we can now search the invoices using our search invoices from OCR configuration. Since we did full text OCR, we now have the ability to search on the full text data in these documents. And that lets you search for any keyword that's recognized in anywhere in the document. And that's a very handy feature for supplementing keyword searches, especially if you have to do research on these documents in order to find data that might be hidden within them.